on dark photography and this is actually a relatively new field for me. I know that there are some really remarkable food photographers out there who have been doing it for a while, but I have been shooting on white for so long that learning how to navigate dark photography is new. Um, so I wanted to show you the top five tips that I have learned for things that you have to have to create your first dark photography setup. So first you need a table, but that's actually not on our list. Um, the second thing is you need a good dark backdrop. And I'm actually going to be posting a tutorial on these amazing backdrops that I have made from metal. Um, they're sheets. It's made from a sheet of uh, aluminum from a crap, like a hardware store, and it is amazing. I love these things. They're lightweight. They're easy to move. And as you can see, just some really great looking um, texture that I was able to create in 15 minutes or less. <clears throat> then. When you're working with dark photography, you have to set up essentially a dark box because you need all of the shadows, but you also want to be able to shoot from several different angles. So what I usually do is just prop up a second um, sheet, and this is a, I think it's a three foot by four foot or two, two foot by four foot um, plywood panel that I have painted um, actually with the exact same paint as this. We need to talk about that because that is a whole fantastic trip. trick. Um, there we go. So you need to have a backdrop. You need to have something that looks amazing on your, on your little bottom area. I don't know what that's called if this is a backdrop, a baseboard. We'll make that up, but that's not it either. Um, so those are the first two things. The third thing that you need is something to hold up some of these foam boards. And mine actually are just repurposed boards that I used for a um, program, that, a presentation that I gave. And I simply prop them up using things I have in the house. I found that a Tripod is just as great to set things up. I just set a little tripod up here, put it on kind of um, tight status, and then I will set up typically two foam boards, um, depending on where I want my light. And when you're doing dark photography, you want to make sure that you're deciding where your light source is coming from because it becomes extremely obvious when you're taking your pictures. So my, my kind of basic go-to dark photography setup is actually open-sided. I tend to shoot with the back, the bottom covered, and then a foam core. And then I'll actually set up a whiteboard right here because I'm still really working on, I just still really like the light. And it's really hard for me to pull all of the darkness. Um, the shadows are nice, but this light is definitely, this is definitely my go-to setup. And then the other thing that you need is some good dark props. And these props, you can start really low key, finding some at thrift stores. Um, this is like a pewter plate that I found from an antique shop. So it really doesn't matter where you're buying them at first. Just get some nice dark props, napkins, some dark utensils. Um, and the reason for this is because as you're shooting photos on the dark, with the dark, propped up with all of these dark shadows, you want your food to really be the color in your photo. You really want that to be the spotlight. And so anything that you can do to prop with kind of dark colors around it will help your food really shine through, shine above everything else. So this is the basic setup that you absolutely have to have for dark photography. Two foam cores, a nice dark bottom, a nice sturdy background, um, a good table, and a couple of really great um, stands to hold up your foam cores because you'll, you'll want to move them around quickly. Um, some people use clamps too, but I just like using what I have in the house. 
And today I actually shot five different dark photography setups, so I'm going to show you what I was able to do today with a similar setup and just a different mix of backdrops. And then um, make sure that you subscribe below because I will post in the coming weeks a tutorial of how I take these pictures and my insanely simple trick for editing them in Lightroom in a way that you will absolutely love. It's about ready to revolutionize your life. So subscribe. It's so great to have you guys here in the studio and check out what we did today with the